Most kids are told to stay away from sharp objects, but for the students at a Taekwondo school in Roanoke, they're told the exact opposite, but don't worry. They know what they're doing. In fact, this particular school is home to several world champions. Photojournalist Noah Bullard has the story. My name is Master Michael Scott Morrison. Ah! I'm the owner of Roanoke ATA. These guys are some of our black belt and high rank students who have been training all year and going to various tournaments uh, to earn a place in uh, world championships. Our world championships happens every year. It's uh, in Little Rock, Arkansas. We had uh, Miss Brooke Maldonado, who won in combat sparring. I was really excited. My parents cried. I cried a little bit. I was excited and happy. She had to fight four different people uh, to get to the championships and, and win her, her final match. Miss Rebecca McLean, she won in traditional weapons. Um, she does the traditional sword. Oh, I got this, and this was awesome. When I won it, I started crying before they even announced it. I felt so happy that I thought I could win, and I did, and that was amazing to me. On the podium, I was like, my first picture, and then I was like, I never did a serious one, like, actual smiles. And then I won in combat sparring as well. You know, I'm very excited <laughs> to be able to do that. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure and it's a lot of a lot of hard work and uh, it, it's not an easy thing to do. That's my victory dance. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. I love how yes. sweet those girls are. They are vicious out there. I'm going to add that into my arsenal of victory dances. Yes. <laughs> What's Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Every day. Save for football season. There you go. For football season. Thanks for saving. <laughs>